I have said it before and I will say it again many, many a time. It pays to make relationships with people. Well, I did pretty well last time I was here, last week, so let's head back into AZ Thrift and see if they have any other gems that I can scoop up for cheap. Let's go. All right, well, went in there and they really didn't have much and different, although I was told by the person who is in charge of that store that apparently you're gonna have more games next week. So I'll be back next week to take a look at that, but I did find one score that I think I overlooked last time, and I didn't this time. We got a loose disc copy of Fallout New Vegas, the Ultimate Edition on the PS3. This game trades in at GameStop for like five, six dollars, and I got it for three because it was loose disc, so easy way to make a couple extra bucks. I'll take it. So yeah, that's all I got for this thrift shop. shop. We'll do some more pawn hunting in a bit. But yeah, pretty happy with that at least. All right, it's been a week and it's been a while since I've actually come away with anything from this value pond. So maybe today I'll get lucky. Let's head in and see what we can find. All right, so they had some interesting stuff in there as you saw. Uh, two things that jumped at me, at me right away where they had a bunch of Switch games, several loose ones. I thought about possibly grabbing Animal Crossing for 25, but my service wasn't working well, so I wasn't sure if it was worth the pickup. I might go back and pick that one up later on if it's still there. The other thing that I passed on that I thought was interesting is they had the Days of Play Blue Slim PS4, which I'm pretty sure has some value. It was a bit dinged up and it does not look like it came with the controller that it's supposed to, so that's kind of a bummer. And they wanted 280, which, it's not terrible. I probably could gain a profit on it, but I don't know if it's worth it for that much. So I passed. Maybe I made a mistake. Let me know in the comments below. If it's still there in like a week or two, I might grab it and put it on layaway or something. We'll see. It's a cool looking PS4 for sure, but I don't need it. I have one and I probably just get it to flip. But anyway, I did pick up two games and both I did pretty well. I did look up the values in advance and both are worth more than I paid in trading credit, which is pretty good. Not a ton more, but a little bit more. So first off, we have Black Ops 3 on the PS4. I've picked this up so many times. I've flipped it so many times. It's not worth nearly as much as it used to be, but it's still worth more than the $5 I paid for it. So I'll take it. And then the other one is Monster Energy Motocross 4 on the PS4. The new one just came out, but this one's still pretty new. It came out last fall. So still pretty valuable and it's worth a decent amount in trade in on the PS4. So grand total, I paid 11 bucks and I was out the door. They originally quoted me like 1180 something, but they just gave it to me for 11 cause I had 11 in cash. So yeah, 11 bucks, not too shabby. I will be flipping both of those to GameStop along with that Fallout New Vegas Ultimate Edition on PS3. I don't think I'm done game hunting. I'm gonna go out uh, to two more pawn shops and see if they've got anything good. We'll go from there. You know what time it is. It's Cash America time. Let's go in, see what we can find. I have said it before and I will say it again many, many a time. It pays to make relationships with people. So I've been coming to this Cash America for a while now. The managers know me, everybody knows me. So when I come up, I don't have to haggle. I literally just walk up and they're like, we'll give you this price. And it's usually great. Case in point, I picked up two games for $10 total that are freaking amazing. Plus you saw what I got on layaway. So we'll talk about that in a second. But first off, let's show off what I picked up. A pristine copy of Black Ops 2. This is better than the copy I have. It looks basically brand new, so I'm actually gonna swap out my copy with this one 
just because of how good it looks. So yeah, and this game still trades in for a good amount. So of course it's worth picking up. And then this was the one that shocked me. I saw it in the case. It's a game I've been wanting for a while. I didn't have it. I was expecting they were gonna ask for like 15, 20 maybe, 10 bucks with Black Ops. So essentially $5 each. Pokemon Let's Go Eevee on the Switch. This is a $50 game, still. And I got it for five bucks. Incredible, absolutely incredible. But as you also saw, I found a PlayStation VR headset. And as soon as I saw the price that they had on it, I did a double take because that's a ridiculously good price. Most PSVR headsets are going for 200 plus nowadays. That one was priced at 79, so $80. And it came with the receiver, the headset, and two sets of controllers, both the navigation and the move controllers. That's incredible. The only thing it's missing is the camera. And I've seen the cameras around, so I'm sure I can track down a camera. But I'm gonna get a PSVR for under a hundred bucks. Absolutely insane. So I put that on layaway. I'm probably gonna pick it up in the next week or two, along with my PS2. So <laughs> it's a good day at Cash America, that's for sure. So I think I got one more pawn shop left in me. I'm gonna head over to Value Pawn, see if they've got anything. But even if they don't, it's been a good day. And I only went to a couple places. Well, we struck a huge Cash America, and we did well at the last value pond. Let's see if we can go three for three and end to this one. Let's go. Yeah, nothing in there. As you saw, they did have a couple next gen consoles. They had a Series S for two ninety, and then a PS Five for a thousand dollars. These pawn shops, they're just selling these consoles at ridiculous prices, but they're selling, that's the thing. So good for them, I guess, if they can sell it for that much, but I have no interest in buying a PS5 for a thousand dollars. So yeah, I do have interest in buying a PS5, but for a lot less than that. But we'll get to that eventually. By now the series might've already started, but I ain't gonna be starting a series that involves a PS5. So stay tuned for that. Anyway. Uh, we're going to head back to my room and we're going to do a recap of everything that I picked up, which isn't a lot, but what I picked up is pretty good. So let's go. All right, I am back in the game room and it is time for a recap of a very small, but very impactful week. So looking at the footage, it doesn't look like I did that much. And I really didn't. I did go to a couple pawn shops and I scored at both of them, plus I went back to my thrift shop from last week and scored a small thing. But there's some pretty solid value. Plus, in the future, I scored a big thing with that PlayStation VR bundle. So that's probably going to be coming next week in what is sure to be an amazing episode, or probably multi-episode arc. So stay tuned for that. But we picked up some solid stuff, so let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start off with Easy Pawn. Or not easy pun, easy thrift, a thrift shop. And I found a loose disc game that I apparently missed the first time I was there. I did not miss it this time. We have Fallout New Vegas, the ultimate edition on the PS3. This game is always worth grabbing because it is worth a decent amount in trade-in at GameStop. I picked it up for $3. It is worth $5.50 without any bonuses. I'm going to try to trade all this stuff in towards a bonus. I don't know what yet. I might just hold on to it until a bigger bonus comes around. We'll see, but that's what it's currently worth. Not too bad. Next, we went to Value Pawn, and I haven't scored at this Value Pawn in a little bit, but they finally had some new games, and they were willing to sell them to me for a reasonable price, so I scooped them up. We're going to start off with Call of Duty Black Ops 3 on the PS4. I've traded in this game I can't tell you how many times. It's in good shape. This is in good shape. It has gone down a lot in value. Before it was worth like $11 in trade-in. It's gone down to $6.60. So it's it's still worth picking up for the reasonable price, but it's not worth nearly as much as it used to be. I think during the last couple trade-in bonuses, a lot of people were trading in their old Call of Duty games because they were overpriced. And because of that now, because there's so many of them in game stops, they're not going to take them for nearly as much. So... Paid five bucks out of pocket for this. It's worth 660, but again, 
I'm gonna try to wait to trade this in until I can find a decent bonus. So it'll be worth more than that, but that's what it's worth without any bonuses. The other game, and I knew this one had some value and I was correct. We have Monster Energy Supercross 4 on the PS4. This came out, I think, in fall of 2021, so it's not that old. And they only wanted six bucks for it. They originally asked for seven. I got them down to six because I just wanted to try to shave off a dollar if I could. Not bad. And I didn't pay tax on either of these games too, which was nice. I ended up paying $11 in cash and they just took that. So this one I paid six for and it's worth $8.80 in trade-in. So again, they're small bumps, but if I can get more bonuses on them, it'll be worth it in the long run. And I'm still making additional money on them, which is pretty good. Here comes the big one, because once again, Cash America came through. They always do. I go there all the time. I always pick up games. They know that. And because of that, they're willing to give me some pretty stellar deals. And I scored some big ones this time. Obviously the first thing, which I haven't picked up yet, but I will be probably next week, is that PSVR bundle. Now PSVR is expensive. Most places, especially pawn shops, they're gonna sell it for 150, 200, maybe more than that for a complete bundle. So to see one on a shelf for 79 is pretty astounding. Also, I looked at the bundle and it had the receiver it had two sets of the motion controllers. So that was good. I had two sets of controllers. I had the headset itself and I had the receiver. The only thing it's missing is the camera. And they mentioned that, that that's the reason why they priced it as low as they did is because it was missing the camera. But I've seen the cameras. They're usually not that expensive. So I'll find a camera and when I find a camera, I'll bundle it with my PSVR and I'll have a working PSVR that I potentially could get for under $100, which is pretty darn good. So I had to reserve that. I thought that was way too good of a price not to do that. So hopefully I'll be picking that up soon along with that P PlayStation 2 bundle, which I cannot wait to show you everything that's included with that. That's probably gonna be coming next week. Stay tuned, the next episode is going to be epic. That's all I'm gonna say. But anyway, let's talk about the epicness of what I did find. I only picked up two games and I paid $10 total, but the two games I picked up are pretty stellar. So first up, Black Ops 2. It's an old mainstay. I pick it up all the time whenever I find it. It used to be worth a lot in trade in at GameStop. It's dropped down a lot to 550. Still worth picking up if you can get it for a good price. But here's the thing I love about this copy. It's got the manual, which it's, it's one of the newer 360 games. So because of that, you don't see the paperwork with it very much. So this is a complete copy. But here's the best part. That disc is flawless. It looks like it's never been played, which for a Call of Duty game to look that good, hella impressive. Needless to say, I'm keeping this copy. This is gonna be a condition upgrade for me. And instead I'm gonna trade in my copy to GameStop for $5.50, unless there's a bonus, which hopefully there will be when I trade it in. But yeah, to find Call of Duty Black Ops 2 in that good condition for that cheap, impressive. Now, again, because I only got two games, they're technically five bucks each if you split it evenly. They really shouldn't be split evenly. But, so this one, if you if you consider this was $5, it's not that big of a bump up, but it's fine. Cause this is a huge condition upgrade for me and it's a good game regardless. Here's the big one though. And this one just astounded me. As soon as I saw it, I'm like, okay, I have to ask how much they're asking for for this. Cause it's a game I don't own that I genuinely want because it looks fun and I've heard they're good. I just never, I never got it. And that is Pokemon Let's Go Eevee for the Switch. So this is a remake of Gen 1 essentially, but done in more of like a casual Pokemon Go style. This came out before Sword and Shield, so it was kind of the first taste of Pokemon that we got on the Switch before the mainline proper Pokemon games came out. And because of that, I never got it. I was more so hyped for Sword and Shield, so I never bothered to get this game, although I heard it was good. And I wanted the Eevee version because, I mean, I don't really care about Pikachu. 
it's fine, but I'd rather have Eevee, Eevee's cooler. So I saw this in the case, I'm like, okay, it's a Switch game, it's in the case, probably gonna want a lot for it. So I bring it up to the counter, along with Black Ops 2. How much do they want? 10 bucks, total. So if you technically count the fact that I paid 10 bucks for two games, this is $5? It's worth 40. Yeah, slam dunk on a very valuable Switch game that I got for $5. So needless to say, I'm very happy with this week. Even though we didn't do a ton of game hunting and I don't have a ton of footage to show you, we got some bangers. I got a nice condition upgrade for my Call of Duty. I got Let's Go Eevee for dirt cheap. And I picked up a bunch of games I can flip to GameStop for a profit and even more profit if I wait for a, a sale or a promo. You can't go wrong with that. Like, I'm, I'm very, very happy with the results. It's awesome. So yeah, pretty content with everything that we got this week. Anyway, that is gonna do it for this episode of The Bargain Game Hunter. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. As I mentioned, next week is gonna be bangers. We're gonna have more than likely a multi-part session where I'm going to go to all of my regular stops, including the two new ones that I just got. So we're going to, I think it's six pawn shops and a thrift store. We're gonna gather up as much stuff as we can get that's reasonably priced. And then I'm gonna bring a huge bunch of stuff to GameStop, trade it all in, get some solid credit. Whether I get something with that credit, who knows? Or just come away with a boatload of games. And I'm also probably going to come home with that PS2 bundle and the VR bundle. So it's going to be an epic thing. And of course, I'm going to bring back the game hunt cam. So you're going to get tons of footage from all of this hunting goodness. So if that's what you're looking forward to, you're going to get it on the next episode. Thanks for watching. If you're new around here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Click that notification bell. That way you know when new videos drop. And I will see you for an epic next week on The Bargain Game Hunter. Bye-bye.